Hey everyone, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Do you want to talk about being a grandparent? And I want to talk specifically about creative ways that you can stay in touch with your grandchildren if you live in a different state or if you live a long distance away from them. Grandparents are huge influencers in the lives of their grandchildren. There's many, many articles that have attested the fact that grandparents need their grandchildren <clears throat> and grandchildren need their grandparents. <clears throat> Excuse me, need their grandparents. I, I think I mentioned about my paternal grandmother. She lived about 15 minutes away from us. I love spending time with her. I saw her every week and I spent a few days with her and stayed with her during the summer. My husband also, his grandparents just lived a few, a few doors down on the same street. And he had this incredible tight bond with both his grandparents. He loved visiting them and they were a huge influencer in his life. So they know that grandparents can be a huge influence, but if, they, if you have grandchildren that are in a different state, then you need to come up with creative ideas on how you can stay close to them. Now, of course, you can email them and you can Skype and you can text and you can call them on the phone and you can be there if you can for their important birthdays or different things that they're doing in school or rites of passage like graduations and so forth. And those are all very important things for grandparents to be involved with. But there are two, there's a, a, grand, a, <clears throat> a grandfather and a grandmother that found a very creative way of staying in touch with their grandson. Meet Rick and Angela Blessy of Minnesota. Their grandson lived in a different state. They didn't see him often. They were concerned about whether or not he was going to even remember what they looked like. So they put their thinking caps together and they decided to write a book. A Fun Day with Gran Grandma and a Fun Day with Grandpa. And these books uh, fall into the criteria of bold, bright, and beautiful. They're very bright, they're very colorful, and they show different things that you could do with your, each one of your grandparents, like cooking or fishing or going on um, reading books together, going on hikes together. The nice thing about them is, um, or the interesting thing I should say about them, is that the faces are blank. So what you do is when you order the books, you send via email, you send a picture of each of the grand, uh, grandparents and a picture of the grandchild. And they will send you back all of these stickers and so your grandchild can put the stickers of his grandparents or her grandparents and the sticker of her or him into all of the different places in these round little slots. So this is, they found that this was a fabulous way of keeping in touch with their grandson and he loved the stickers. He loved putting, seeing his grandparents on these stickers and he put them in the right places and he put his stickers in and he wanted those books read over and over and over again. Now, the other thing about them is um, all the illustrations are ethnically neutral and the boys and girls, for the most part, are all gender neutral. They can be either a boy or a girl. But it helps you to um, span the miles with a grandchild, particularly when they're young. And Skyping with them, uh, the parents may be too busy oftentimes to do that. But one thing that they can do is they can have that little book for them that they can look at over and over and over again. I know that the Blessies' little grandson, he took it to his preschool and he was so proud to show all of the kids in his preschool as well as his teacher, teachers and his parents say that it's his very favorite book. So his grandparents, as a result of this, have been able to span the miles and connect with the person that they love best. You can read more about this on my blog on Good Parenting Brighter Children. You can read all about these books. You can um, see the blessings and pictures of them, pictures of their books, and it will go into more detail than what I'm going here. Uh, let me leave you with a thought by Charlie Shedd. Some of the world's best educators are grandparents. And that's so true. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow.